one of the nullifiers of this particular ma'aqid is to stick to one particular science. Now remember what we said. Studying the different sciences is something approved from a student of mine. It's something encouraged, right? Specializing, we discussed that message already. But what he means here is literally studying only one science in khalas, not studying anything else. And literally it's, it's as if you're in a room and you have a, you know, you, can, you have a, a binoculars and it's pointing in one particular direction, you know, literally all you can see is the foot of a chicken. And another person's pointing in another different direction with binoculars. And you can't, all you can see is the head of the chicken. The first one will say, what is this thing? It has uh, nails and it's quite, you know, scaly. And who think that's a creature in and of itself. But the one who's pointing at the top will also say the same. Yeah, it has a head and it has, you know, like uh, a beak. And, but it's someone who steps back from both of them. He will see the whole image in and of itself. Right? Uh, and like with the Sharia is like this. You find someone who, for example, always studies Aqeedah. He would be very harsh generally in his out, would be very harsh during his outlook. And for him, the whole world is Iman Kuf, Iman Kuf, Iman Kuf, Iman Kuf. Now I could Iman. It's just everything is a very black and white, a very black and white, bleak outlook, unfortunately, a lot of the time. And I know because, uh, you know, uh, we have unfortunately a few, a few, a few brothers like this. Uh, but someone, for example, likewise, Flipper, someone who studies Muslim um, Hadith, on the other hand. Everything for him is about sihha and da'af, sihha and authenticity, weakness, authenticity, weakness, critique, juh, ta'deel, critiquing people. This one's diqa, la, this one is da'if, this one's mutahim, kada, la, this one is majroh, and he is someone critiquing. Yani, but it's someone who studies the different sciences, who have, he'll be balanced, basically. He'll be holistic in his outlook. He'll be holistic in his outlook. I had, I used to have one professor, a professor in Medina, in hadith, in mustalah. And he said to us once, and he was advising us, subhanAllah, wallah, he could see the regret within him. He said, you know, he said, make sure, make sure you study the different sciences as much as you can. Just gain a small amount, gain an introduction to each of the sciences, one or two texts. And he says, to this day, to this day, I've never completed a whole tafsir in the Quran. And wallah, he was coming from a place of regret, subhanAllah. But khalas. Umar ibn Khattab said, Learn before to serve with you. Yani, there's difference of opinion in the meaning of to sweet. Some say it, be, it means once you gain authority. Khalas, once you become busy and you gain responsibility and authority, and uh, you don't have time. You literally do not have time. Your time is constricted. Right? But when you're young or you're free of responsibility and you're you're completely dedicated to knowledge, then study. Study and make use of your time and spread your horizons and gain from the different sciences as much as you can according to a structured curriculum. And he said that he never read a single tafsir up until that time, I think he was past his 50s. So Allah it's, uh, it is something real, brothers and sisters. It is something real, um, you know, uh, not having, as Shaykh Saleh said in his kitab, two things. One of them is a, a clear outline, essentially a clear, clear outline of studying, and the other is a murshid. Someone who can guide you, a sheikh that is mufid nasir, someone who nasir, someone who can guide you in study. These two things are very important.